Hey everybody, it's Mr. Luce, and your technique of the week is how to throw on a pottery wheel. So a pottery wheel is this amazing machine that you see before you. This was created to help make bowls, cups, vases, and all of these beautiful pieces of functional or non-functional uh, pieces of art made out of clay. Traditionally, when someone wanted to make a bowl or a cup, they would hand build it like using coils or pinch pots. And that's how people would traditionally make pottery. But then with the invention of the pottery wheel, it made it a lot easier, a lot quicker, and it made the pottery much more uh, symmetrical and close to perfect as you can get. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your clay and you're gonna roll it up into a ball. I have already done that. Now you're going to slam it in the middle, make sure it's good and tight, all right, and you're going to drizzle some water on. Now when you drizzle the water on, you want to pretend like you're giving a baby bird a bath. You don't want to soak or drown the bird. Just a little bit, just enough to get the bird moist. So now I've got some water on my hands, and now I'm going to start the pottery wheel. Okay. Ooh. Next, you're going to take your elbow and you're going to place it on the inside of your thigh. And what this does is it holds your arm steady because when the clay starts hitting and slapping up against your hand, it's going to want to control and move your hand and tell you what to do. Clay doesn't tell you what to do. You tell the clay what you want to do. So then you're going to make like this cup shape and you're going to push it up against the clay and this is going to force it to make this movement. All right, and this is called centering. I am then going to put my other hand on the top. Kind of like a karate chop. Add some more water. Ooh, wonky, wonky, wonky. So what I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use one of my tools to take the extra clay off. And this will make it a little bit easier. Okay. Get some more water. Here we go, it's getting centered now. Add a little bit of water. And every time you take your hands off, you always want to slowly remove it. You don't want to take it off too hard or too fast. Okay, it's getting there. So this tool that I'm using to take some of this extra clay off, that's called a rib, like a rib in your body. And this just helps to cut or trim the clay so that it fits nicely in your hand. Takes off that extra clay you don't want. Okay. Mm. All right, so you see how it's becoming less um, hard to keep in the center, right? That's because it's centered. And the more it jerks and hits, it means it's not centered at all. And it has to be centered before you can start doing anything else. This is the most important part. And if you do not get it right, it can make or break what you are making. Okay. So let's see here. That's pretty good. I'm not mad about that. All right. So now what we're going to do First, I'm going to clean off my hands. Whoop. All right, so now add some water to it. I'm going to put my hands on both sides like I'm giving it a hug. All right, then with my thumbs on top, I'm going to slowly push straight down with both thumbs. Okay, good, let's add some water. 
Remember, always slowly take your hands off because any swift uh, movements or jerks, it's going to make the clay go. La, 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 la. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my middle finger and I'm going to push down just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, add some more water. Okay, and now... The next step is you are going to get two fingers, just like this. You're going to put them on the inside of the clay. You're going to press down, and you're going to put your thumb on the outside, kind of like you're pinching it or grabbing it. And you're going to slowly pull it towards you. And that makes the opening a little bit bigger. And that's also telling the clay, you will be this wide. All right, that's exactly what that's telling it. Let's smooth out the top here. Okay. Now, what you're going to do Let's take both hands and you're going to push it back towards the center. Okay. To where it creates like a little volcano. So there is the simple, uh, the simple, the, uh, Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to slow down a little bit. And using a pointer finger, you're going to put it on this side and just let it drag up against the clay. You don't have to press hard. You don't have to poke it. Just let the finger glide along the side. And that's going to create something called a muffin top. It creates this little, like, ridge to help you grab onto. Okay? There. So now, add some more water water out on the inside. Okay. Moment of truth. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one finger underneath the little ridge you just made, a little muffin top, and then another finger in the exact same spot on the inside. And then you're simply just going to pull now, if you want to make a cup, you're going to go straight up. If you want to make a bowl, you're going to go at an angle, right? Because the bowls go like that, cups go like that. So, let's add some water. And moment of truth. And you don't want to go too fast while you're doing this. You go very, 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 very slow. All right, can't get that off. There we go. And kind of clean up the rim. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting my fingers on the side like that, like I'm doing an okay. And then my other finger on top, just kind of smoothing out the rim. Add some water. When it starts to get a little sticky tacky, that's when you know you need to add some more water. Okay. So now that I've made my pool, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my rib. And I can go in through the side and I can kind of just shave off some of that extra clay so that it's not super thick. 
because you don't want them too thick because then they're going to be really heavy. And while a goblet is something that's really cool, you want it to not be too heavy <laughs> so that when you are trying to cheer your lords, it's not, you know, also working your biceps at the same time. Unless that's what you want. In which case, do you, boo boo. So, take that off, a little bit more water. And then I'm gonna put my sponge on the inside. I'm just cleaning it up. So this is looking kind of cool. It's a little simple. So I'm going to go in and smooth it out. And then I'm going to add some different shape, like a shape to it. I'm going to make, let's see here. It's still kind of thick. Which there's something called trimming, which when you are done making something on the pottery wheel, you then take it off and you let it dry just a little bit not enough to where it's greenware which means it's like hard you want it to get to what's called leather hard and that's when the clay is the consistency of leather and that um, it gets a little bit it, well it's exactly like that and it's more sturdy so where you can hold it and work with it like handle it, but you can still work on it and do things to it. So this is kind of cool. So right now I'm just using um, my little tongue depressor and I'm just shaving away some of that extra clay. And this is helping me to create a shape. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of going with it here. I'm just I am very happy with that. So I'm going to call it a day. Now, the one thing you need to remember about working with clay is knowing when to stop. Because you could sit there and you could work and 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 play and play and play all you want. But, um, like I, but like, you know, clay gets tired just like us. So overworking it, it could cause it to mess up. So there you have it. There's my nice little cup. And that is how you throw on a pottery wheel.